In this video, we'll go over how to import 3D assets and their thumbnails into Xcode. Before we import our assets, it is important to organize them. This is how I organize my 3D assets and their corresponding thumbnails. There are a few things I'd like to highlight. One, all 3D assets are in the same folder. This makes it much easier to import them all at once. Two, all 3D assets have a similar naming convention. This is very important for consistency. And three, each 3D asset has a corresponding thumbnail with the exact same name. Of course, the file extension for the 3D files is USDZ and the thumbnails is PNG. If you've been following along with the course, you might notice that I have several additional 3D models. I've done this to make the app more well-rounded. You don't need all of these models to follow along, but I will include the links to all of them in the description of this video. Now that our assets have been neatly organized, we're ready to import them into Xcode. We're going to open up our Xcode project and create a new folder titled 3D Assets. You can create this folder by right-clicking on the project and selecting New Group. Give the folder a name. For organizational purposes, I will drag the folder to the bottom of the hierarchy. Next, right-click on the 3D Assets folder and select Add Files to ARF. If you named your app differently, it will say Add Files to whatever you named your project. Navigate to the directory containing your 3D assets and select all the USDZ files you want to import. Click Add. We can now see that our assets have been successfully imported into Xcode. Next, we'll work on importing the corresponding thumbnail images for our 3D assets. In the Project Navigator, select the Assets.xc Assets folder. Right-click on the Asset panel and select Folder. Rename the folder to Thumbnails. Next, right-click on the Thumbnails folder and select Import. Navigate to the directory containing your images and select all images you'd like to import. Click Open. While all the important thumbnails are still selected, go to the Attributes Inspector and set Scales to Single Scale. We are now done importing our 3D assets and their corresponding thumbnail images. To recap, we can import our 3D assets into Xcode by neatly organizing all our 3D assets in a dedicated directory, maintaining a consistent naming scheme for our 3D assets, and importing our assets into a 3D assets folder in Xcode. Additionally, we can import corresponding thumbnail images by organizing all our thumbnail images in a dedicated directory, maintaining a consistent naming scheme to the corresponding 3D asset, and finally, importing images into a thumbnails folder in assets.xe assets. And that's it for this video.